<laughs> so here I am at my home base vape shop, chatting with locals. Hello, sir. Oh, what is your name? Some people on the street call me Adam. Do you have like a gangster name, or just? Sometimes I throw on like some of these. That was very fancy. Yeah, no, it's so uh, you're like a fan fancy gangster. Right, it's never the same twice. So it seems that you've just taken uh, the MBTI personality mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. What were your results? Uh, I was an ISTP. An well, ISTP. I'm, I'm an account that I cannot self-evaluate ever. So for all I know, I could be a Capricorn, which I am. <laughs> I also like long walks on the beach, and uh, I'm a sucker to a pretty face. So. Oh, are you single or dating? Just so the world knows. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently taken. Sorry, ladies. Oh, sorry, ladies. This ISTP is taken. Yep, yep, yep. So do you have your results on your phone still? Uh, I do not. I took it on here. On there? Sweet. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna... Do... Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, All right, well, it's, it's cool Gonzo. to know that you're an ISTP. Gonzo Banana, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Artisan. Okay, so here's what. Will you open a new tab? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, per personality page, you would be described as the mechanic, meaning that uh, you are good at figuring things out, especially in the real world. How do you feel about that? I feel like that's uh, rather accurate. I don't know if I know any mechanic. I think my uncle is a mechanic, and mechanics are also notoriously hard to tie down. As far as romantically, my uncle didn't get married until he was 53. That's where we're going. I'm, I plan to live until my mid-40s and anything after that. Oh, right, right. I forgot this plan. Okay, and then what is your grand plan? Uh, the grand plan. I like your plan. Uh, mm -hmm. like, like my goals, where am I going? Yeah, but you know what you want to, someday you want to, you well, know. I own a coffee shop. He does. He's a boost. Better. And that's why your dog's name is Petrol. Petrol. It's like rocket fuel. Yeah. And what is your name? Do you go by Edward? Yes. I hate Ed. That's a 50-year-old man name. Not Eddie. Uh, Eddie is like close friend name. My close friends call me Eddie. So what is your personality type, sir? Per I got ISTJ. You are the duty fulfiller. How do you feel about that? This means that you are a very, very dependable person. I fulfill duties all the time. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he gets paid to. What did that mean? <laughs> do you know what he meant by that? <laughs> I, I have no idea. So what are your life goals, sir? I don't know yours. Um, I have none. One day at a time. One day at a time? My life goals. You say, that's actually a great goal. I am totally with you because that's a very, that means that you appreciate the present. I try. You try? I like that. Um, you place great importance on honesty and integrity, and you are a good citizen. Mm -hmm. Would you say that is correct? Um, there's like... Yeah, yeah, I'm a good citizen. You're like, for the most part. Wait, wait you can't leave. I'm grabbing the other iPad so I can... There goes the ISFP. So I can finish my day. Okay. Oh, she's still taking hers? Yeah, what an is. It's a poop. It's a um, So why are your hands dirty, sir? I was just repairing a dust. You're really good at that, aren't you? I try. You try because you're a good citizen. <laughs> and you're honest and you have lots of integrity. Yeah. This is the boyfriend. Edward here is the boy Eddie to oh. his friends. Is the boyfriend of Marley. This is Marley. Hi. I love Marley. So now I know that I love ISFP. I've decided that if I'm ever going to have a sister-in-law that I'm ordering an ISFP. Okay. okay. <laughs> Someday, if I ever get one. Okay. So, you got ISFP. I did. Correct. Yes. Did you read the description at all? Um, I didn't, and I wanted to go on to the, what was the thing that you told me to type in? If you just go to Google. Okay. And uh, just type in ISFP. It's okay, Sasha. You are the artist. I'm the artist. Yes, you are the artist. Okay. So, this means um, your primary mode of living is focused internally. That's for any introvert, usually. But the S is stands for oh, sensor. Oh. 
So Spencer, you were asking this. So it means that you are appreciators of the concrete world and the present, like you said, yeah. um, and really that you live in the, you inhabit the earth and the world. And whereas an intuitive like me is off in my little like thoughts and ideas all the okay. time, okay. and I run into things. Are you? Are you very clumsy, either one of you? No, I work in the kitchen. Quick. You wanna, you wanna talk closet? I'm fabulous. Marley's super quick. Okay, there's, oh, closet, oh. there's been a couple instances. No, she's just like snappy. She never even worked in a vape shop before. Sorry, I'm bragging about your girlfriend. And she was the only person that could exactly identify how to make my flavor. And she didn't, she's never even had a history of vaping. And she instantly did it. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 19. And? 21. 21 and? 20. Do you guys even know what generation you are? I, I read an interesting article on that. And we're right in between uh, millennials and I think it's generation Y. After I read something uh, like we'll be able to tell our kids that we're older the than the internet and Google. But it's not really true for me. Uh, uh, but it's true uh, for her. You know, we actually, I brought that, this was actually yesterday. And she looked it up and Google was like 94. Huh. So you came in like on the wave on the after birth. Ew. Yeah, before smartphones. Did I just say that? That's so uh, gross. We got to see it become normalized. I think I was born before like an Xbox. Phone. Did you like when you grew up, like the first things you remember, do you remember people having cell phones? Yeah, my dad had one. Okay, because it's like black one. Okay, it's like when I was like a child child, like we didn't have cell phones until finally one point my mom and dad got a cell phone together and it was like one of the first cell phones and it was like, you know, we had a car phone at first, like that sat in the center of the, uh, the suburban that you like un and it's like a huge dial. And it was only for the car? Could you define child child? Like when I was like, you know, Four, okay, five. and then child is like seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Got it. So I have a question to ask you guys because the people of America, we, I don't think, know a ton about dating. I am trying to help people of our generation, mine and the ones before me, remember how to treat each other. And so yeah, I... Well, it's, it's really lacking, honestly. But I started to realize I know a lot of people our age um, that have stable relationships or that you can kind of tell are, are doing the right thing. Well, I would like to know how you guys met. We met here. Right here at this um, very... He started hanging out at my house with my friends, our, our friends, and then he just started hanging out more and more, and then he just kind of never went home, and that was pretty much how it started. Well, you, uh, you, you do the job you want, not the job you have. You know what I'm saying? You do the job you want, not the job. the life you want, not the job, not the life you have. So, like, you mean in your imagination? Oh, so nope. you were just I mean, like... I mean, uh, you if, you know, it's like if I want to be a manager, I go into work and start bossing people around. I want to live with this woman, live with this woman. <laughs> Can I give you daps for that? Yep. He's like, I'm just going to make it happen. She yeah, might not right. know it. It's like, how <laughs> out there? And then I was like, okay, whatever. That was a good plan. It worked. It's still working. Cool. And what do you think of the whole chivalry? Okay. You just said it was okay. dead. Do you okay. mean that for you? No. I, I tell her all the time chivalry is not dead. Aww. Oh, okay. Yeah, you say that. Right. Like. So you're a believer doors. of chivalry. Oh, yeah. Car doors, regular doors. Like, <laughs> you know, I get up and get water. She lets the dogs out in the morning. But, Honestly. It's for each other. Right. See, this was my next question. How do you make it work? And you're already telling me. Look at you guys. Some Any other tips you would like to give... America. More men need to know how to cook and do it for their woman. I'm not talking box shit. I mean, like, fucking bust out some ingredients. I'm sorry. Is, is no, it's fine. You can cuss. I cuss all the time. Sweet. Yeah. Bust out some ingredients and feed her while you're cooking. Dang, girl. Drinks while you're cooking. Alcohol really helps. And do, like, rando things. You know, like, go to the dog park and walk around drunk. Like, oh, you know, you know like, yeah. don't be boring. Yeah. Like, don't have fun together. Yeah. Well, we sit in bed all the time, but, like, you know, like, sometimes we'll, like, fight, <laughs> and, like, sometimes we'll, like, throw shit at each other, you know? Like, Do you ever, like, really fight? Uh, they start jokingly, and they get kind of serious, and then... So how do you get over fights? 
you know. Just like don't talk to each other yeah. for a few minutes and then like cool off and then just like I'm sorry and be like, I'm sorry too. And just like that's dumb. That's pretty much how it goes. So we have the sort of millennials, sort of generation wise here. Thank you guys for chiming in on dating and on your future plans and aspirations and on your personality types. Um, also, you're super adorable. I could never tell before because you're kind of scruffy. So you guys are so cute together. I mean, not in a bad way, but I just don't even think I've seen your face before. This is a good one right here. You should teach a class. That's what a happy couple looks like. Good job, Mr. Chivalry. And good job, future sister-in-law, you know, kind of. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so so you could just kind of realize that you liked each other. Okay, we're in the middle of an interview. Two seconds. So. Shut up. Hold on. Is it vape stuff? I don't really care. I think it's donuts. Every now and then, I actually see both of these over there. Every now and then. Don't worry, I will. I, I won't have it be like awkward where I'm just like filming up people's noses. And then, don't worry, I will edit this so it's not like any crazy weird. I mean, not any crazy. Is everything okay here? Thank you, man. It's okay. I can edit that out. Hold on. <laughs> We're good.